Good morning. Paul and Pauline here, down by the sea at Malulabar, Alexander Headland and Malulabar. And this morning we're bringing you a word out of Matthew chapter 4 when Jesus is walking by the sea very appropriately as we will do shortly and go down to some coffee shop but he was while walking by the sea of Galilee Matthew 4:18 he saw two brothers Simon who is called Peter and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen and he said to them follow me and I'll make you fishers of men Immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left their boat and their, their father and followed him. And he went throughout all Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom of and healing every disease and every affliction among the people what a mighty god we serve so his fame spread throughout all syria and they brought him all the sick those afflicted with various diseases and pains and those oppressed by demons epileptic and paralytics and he healed them and great crowds followed him from galilee and the Decapolis, and from Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. As he went, he preached repentance and the forgiveness of sins. He healed the sick, and he helped the lame to walk and the blind to see. As he went, and he called the disciples to come and follow him. He says, come follow me, pick up your cross, let's do something hard and follow me and I will make you something. I'll make you fishes of men or I'll make you a good doctor in a hospital. I'll make you a good teacher in a school. He was a mighty encourager of people to bring out their natural giftings so that they could be part of the kingdom of God. And so it is with us. We need to be a follower of him, be prepared to do something hard, listen to him, obey him, and then he will make us fishers of men. You know, only yesterday I was walking down the waterfront here and a man came to me and he asked if I knew where there was going to be a Christmas lunch where he could meet some people. And I said, well, I'm new in the area. I can't tell you offhand, but if you give me your phone number, I'll find out. I said, where do you live? He said, I live up at Montville, which is up on the highland quite away from here so I did some research on the internet and I found a lovely church up there with some keen pastors so I sent them a message and asked them if they would contact this man so that he might find some friends and also maybe somewhere he could have Christmas lunch with someone so that's what we need to do as we go he's going to put the work in front of us you're going to meet people only yesterday I met a man up here playing his guitar so I, I talked to him and encouraged him to come back to the Lord. He was a, he was a wanderer, travelling the world and trying to find out who he is. So I encouraged him to come back to Jesus. Whether he does or not, that's up to him. But I at least told him that Jesus wants him to come home. So there we are. As you go, you, he will make you fishers of men. In the very beginning, the first verse we read, Jesus found two men that were already doing something. And I think that's a reminder that the Lord Jesus requires us to be out there active doing something. Exactly. And uh, wherever you are, just take the love of God with you and share it with the world. He's a man walking his dogs, past us, and we Very just Very big dogs. Uh, ask the Lord to bless him. So you get into the word yourself and... Let the word of God get into you. Bye for now. Bye.